Hey everyone, today Violet and I are taking a look at my very first Sunny Madison doll. Right here we've got the Winter Wonderland Sunny Madison, and I will say, she's my favorite out of the entire collection. I do love purple, but outfit-wise, I think Sunny's outfit is my favorite. And her hairstyle looks really nice and simple and easy to maintain, um, you know, so yeah. Anyways, I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and open this. So here we go. We've got this right here, finally. So I ordered her from Walmart. She was $29.99, I believe. Wow. Yay, wow. It, it, it looks like she has no neck. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, uh, maybe it's just the way I'm seeing things. But wow, oh, I do love I do love this color scheme. I don't have like any yellow dolls really, except my Jane from Tarzan. Um, so I'm excited to have her and wow, yeah. I love her stockings, her shoes, her giant coat is incredible. Here is a look at her in the box. So of course we see her name, Sunny Madison. We see some of the accessories that she comes with. We see the snowflake details and the shiny, shiny, sparkly, um, sort of holographic shiny. It's very cool. And then we see a picture of what happens when you put water into her uh, coat that will happen. And spoiler alert, we're not gonna do that today. I'm also, I'm today, I'm also not gonna do the, um, the create a snowman thing with the sand because I did do it in the uh, Violet video. So definitely go watch that if you wanna see that. But I'm really just here for the doll. I'm a thousand percent just here for the doll. And I love her bag. Her bag is so much better than Violet's bag. Uh, here's the back of the box. We just see all of the dolls. And then uh, here's the bottom of the box if you need to see any of this info and this side of the box looks like this the other side says sunny madison and yeah that's it so let's take her out and um in the box there is just some stuff and some instructions all right so yeah here she is i do like this dark blue background and i like that contrast with the yellow so that's pretty and then yeah one last look at her in the box so the first things that are starting to come out of the box are her doll stand so we've got this a little comb for her hair so we've also got this little yellow syringe for injecting water into her dress if or, or uh, coat we've got this little snowman mold maker thingy so basically you mix some sand and then put it inside of here and it creates a little snowman for you. So this inside of here is the sand and the sand is like kinetic sand. So the sand itself is not messy. Um, what is messy is the glitter that you are instructed to mix into the sand. And then she comes with these are one of my favorite accessories. These are earmuffs that look like AirPod Maxes and yeah, so cute. They are fuzzy on the sides by the ears, of course, and then on the top is like this, this molded mesh type of feeling to it. So yeah, very, very cool. Love that. And then she does come with this yellow mug that has some molded details and a little handle for her hand to be able to hold it. And then she comes with this purse, this bag. It is all plastic, but it's really nice. It does open, it's got these handles with like the gold uh, chain type of effect and kind of like a fuzzy, I mean, it's not fuzzy, it is plastic, but it gives the, the illusion of a fuzzy, fluffy kind of handle. And then it's kind of like this puffer padded purse that matches her outfit. It's yellow and it says RH right there in the middle. And then this white heart here on the back. And then, oh, oh. Um, her head, what is happening? Her head is kind of loose. Yeah, I felt like her neck looked kind of funny. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, her head is so loose. <gasps> yeah, why? I've never seen this before. Why is her head just so like, there we go. If we just kind of push it down a little bit, it stays, so great. Okay, so um, hopefully her head will stay on. But let's, uh, let's keep looking at her. So here she is, fresh out of the box. So uh, her hair is this really nice yellow. It does have some 
some blends going on. I'm noticing there is like a lighter yellow, a darker yellow. There is some tinsel, but not a lot of tinsel at all. And there might even be some like platinum blonde kind of white in there too. So that's cute. And then it's, it's pulled up up here, this like half up up here in the top, and then these two sections in the front. And these two sections have just a little bit of um, gel just a little bit of gel and obviously as you can see it is crimped and very very full and the rooting looks really good so that's nice and um i can't tell if her part goes all the way down the middle it looks like it might she might she might have like a a somewhat far back middle part it doesn't go past this ponytail i think but but yeah so there's there's some some room for uh, restyling with her hair and of course it's it's not bad actually it might just need a little bit of a brush I mean I might just rinse it for fun but otherwise I think the hair looks great and then her face is really beautiful she does have that kind of shiny pearlescent finish to her skin and she's got these beautiful like bluish greenish yellow eyes with this yellow eye makeup the eyebrows are very very ombre so they're almost like you know like going from like nothing to a darker you know what I mean and she's also got rooted eyelashes she has a little bit of blush and then she's also got um, some red lips that are sort of like a frosted ombre glossy look too and on mine it looks like the lip sculpt is a little bit bigger than the actual uh, lip color that was printed if you know what I mean uh, yeah and then she's also got these little like dots around her eyes I don't know if you can see those but those kind of like very light shimmery yellowish gold dots around her eyes and then she does have some like sculpted and painted baby hairs too so that's really nice and she also has um, pierced ears but she doesn't come with any earrings and then her outfit is incredible so she's got the coat she's got the sweater the skirt the stockings and the boots so let's look at this coat so it is this yellow puffer jacket it's got this fur hood in the back it also has some like gold details like these little um i don't even know what to call those those little hard gold details right there on each sleeve and on the top of the coat it's sort of like white and then it turns yellow and yes obviously on the sides and the front we do have these plastic little pouches where there is some sand in them some pink sand and blue sand and then you're supposed to put water inside of them and it's just supposed to turn a little more vibrant and I do love the back I do wish that the entire coat was just like this um, all, all all around I, I, I would have preferred without the plastic compartments with the sand um, and obviously I do like the white part up there at the top and that hood is incredible the hood is lined on the inside and the coat too is lined on the inside as well so it looks really nice and it's got that gold zipper detail with a little faux zipper down there as well let's take the jacket off let's see how it's looking off and oh, her head keeps coming off i'm really sad about that i wonder great okay so the jacket is off and here's another look at it 360 so it is completely lined like even the sleeves are lined as well so that detail right there is really nice this is a very well constructed jacket and there's a little uh hole back here so that you could put some of her hair through that if she wears the hood i'll show you how she looks with the hood on in just a bit oh i do love this jacket it is it is so great uh but now let's look at how how it's how everything is looking um underneath the jacket so she's got this top right here that has this kind of like knitted yellow sweater feel to it it is like a tank sweater kind of cropped with a v-neck and then underneath it she's got this white kind of uh satiny button-up shirt now um and the button-up shirt does have the white collar at the top the gold faux buttons down the front and the center and down here you can see it's kind of open too now this is all one piece though so in the back you can see it velcros open and yeah the the, the knit yellow sweater and the white silky um top underneath are just a one piece top and then the skirt also velcros in the back there too there too and the skirt is just like the jacket it's got that uh, fluffy puffer yellow uh, material and it is so cute and it's got these little buckle details right here with those gold buckles and the kind of yellow uh, straps so I love that and this is a, a short kind of like a mini skirt so for winter time it might be cold but thankfully her coat is 
pretty much uh, floor length. And then she's got these incredible, beautiful stockings. And these stockings uh, have little R's all over them. They're like a mesh mesh material. And yeah, they've got the, the letter R all over the place. And then these incredible high-heeled boots. These are very, very high-heeled boots. And they are yellow with the kind of white details all around them, the white bows in the front, the kind of fluffy yellow finish at the top to match those earmuffs, and then also the yellow fluffiness down here where these shoelaces would be. So these have some molded and painted details on them. So that is her outfit. Now her articulation, um, her head can practically come off if you want it to. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, her head is supposed to just rotate you know, left and right and up and down a little bit. Um, and then she's got the shoulder articulation. She has elbow articulation or yeah, elbow articulation. There is no wrist articulation. Oh, and the, the shirt has these cute little cuffs right there too. And then she's got hip articulation so that way she can sit and then knee articulation. And it is a, a nice a nice range of motion with the knee articulation. So I do like that. No ankle articulation, of course. So now um, let's see how she looks with the hood on. Let's see if we can get this to, to work. No, 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 before we do that, I'm gonna try to um, just rinse and wash her hair and uh, clean it up just a little bit and just brush it out. And I'm gonna try to figure out something to do about her neck. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back and this was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, so I did fix her head. It is on, <laughs> it's going nowhere. We can, you know, it, it, it doesn't pop off like it was uh, fresh out of the box. So I think what happened when she was packaged, her head was really pushed down, like beyond, way far down. I mean, you saw when I opened that box, I was like, where's her neck? Um, so yeah, her head was pushed down, making the hole for her neck peg way too wide. Uh, yeah, so what I did was I just removed the head completely. I so wish that I took a picture because it, it made a difference. When I took off the head and I was looking at it, you know, you could see that that hole was really, really um, stretched out. So yeah, uh, what I did was I boiled a pot of water. I wrapped a towel around her head, covering her eyelashes, all of her hair. Um, you know, obviously I, I pulled her hair up and then I just dipped the very, very bottom, like from the chin down um, of her head in that boiling water for about a minute. Just bubbling boiling water for a minute and that did shrink the hole back to its normal size. So um, yeah, I wish I took a before and after picture. But anyways, it's back on, it is on the neck and you know, we, we can do the up, down, left, right. Her head is not going anywhere. And while I was at it, I did just go ahead and um, rinse her hair uh, with some conditioner and warm water and then brushed it out. And I did just like redo the ponytail and whatnot. So yes, yes, we are done with her. Let's go ahead. Let's put her um, jacket back on and we will see her final finished look with her neck right and her hair a little more cleaned up. So yeah. And then sometimes when I'm putting a jacket on a doll with long sleeves, I'll take a elastic and just wrap it around the sleeve a couple times and then wrap it around her hand. So if that looks, you know, if that makes sense. So I'll do that on both sleeves. So that way I can pull, or some people will use like plastic or paper or something um, to, so, you know, so that way they can get the, the sleeve on and whatnot. And then this will go on super nice and easily. And then I'll remove those rubber bands. Okay, and now I'm just going to, yeah, try to remove this rubber band. Great, okay, so the jacket is back on. And, you know, I did say that I was gonna show you how she looks with this, um, hood on and uh, I don't know this might be really really difficult so let's see I'm gonna try to twist her hair and pull it pull it under and through here there we go <laughs> so she's got the the hood on and it is very cute it is very cute and then her hair is just hanging out back here I do like it better um, down like this with her hair out and over it so I will just pull her hair back and yeah and uh, overall I do have to say that I really do love this doll a lot yeah the the outfit is incredible let's see how she looks with these earmuffs okay cute so she's got her air muffs max 
earmuffs smacks. Uh, yeah, very cute. And then her bag. And the only thing, these these coats are very, very big and puffy. So that, like, like they're very thick. So it's hard for, for them to really hold a pose, like for their hands to stay up because the, the material is so thick. She's still super cute. I love her hair with this coat. Um, and then yes, she does come with the stand and the little mug. And with the mug, I can't really get it so that way she can hold it with the mug on the inside and the handle on the outside, if you know what I mean. I can only really get it like this. So yeah, but anyways, that is my Sunny Madison Winter Wonderland and I'm very, very happy with her. I was very nervous about the neck, but it turned out to be a pretty easy fix. Um, I mean, you know, not ideal, but yes, uh, I do. I love her so much. When I was doing her hair, I was realizing that there is a lot more tinsel than I thought but it's okay, I do love that her hair is just down and long and crimpy and it's it's so beautiful. So yes, let me know your thoughts on this style. Definitely watch my, um, my Violet video if you haven't already and let me know if you're gonna get any of these Winter Wonderland Rainbow High Dolls and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.